Amen. 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 Well, it's story time. Amen. Wish an equal. Amen. Gather round, y'all. Amen. 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 Last time now. Amen. A little quieter. Amen. Glad you're here now. Amen. 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 Hello, everyone. It's great to see you again. I'm so excited you could be here with me. Wow. It's a beautiful day, and I'm hoping we can sing our song this week. You ready? Do you remember? We walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops, a mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day or by night. Jesus, the light of the world, help us listen and forgive. Jesus, the light of the world, so that we can truly live. Jesus, the light of the world, we'll walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day or by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Transforming you, body and soul. Jesus, the light of the world. God can make what's broken whole. Jesus, the light of the world. We'll walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day or by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Let your joy and faith increase. Jesus, the light of the world, walk in love and walk in peace. Jesus, the light of the world, we walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright, shine all around us by day or by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Thank you. That's a lovely song. Well, tomorrow is a new week, so we'll do a new song tomorrow. Let's pray. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for showing us that we are all connected. Help us to walk with you as good relatives to one another, learning and growing. Amen. Do you know what Ubuntu means? Sometimes, have you ever heard that word before? Sometimes some words we know uh, don't translate to English perfectly. Ubuntu can mean I am because we are. But it's a little deeper than that. And in today's story, Zandi learns about Ubuntu. Let's listen to the story. Zandi finds Ubuntu by Dr. Terere Trent and Lori Granger. Illustrations by Diane Lucas. It was another bright, sunny day on the savannah, 
and Zandi was daydreaming under the shade of a majestic baobab tree. The savanna was bursting with activity. Some could be seen, some only heard. Zandi gazed upon the huge baobab tree and watched all the life unfolding within its umbrella-like branches. A family of monkeys groomed each other under the watchful eye of a shy chameleon. A trail of black ants marched determinedly up the enormous tree trunk. A beautiful green snake clung to a branch and waited for its dinner to pass by. Colorful birds gathered on the canopy and squawked loudly to one another. The baobab tree was a friend to all, opening its many arms to the creatures of the savanna. Zandi thanked the baobab tree for befriending her too and allowing her to enjoy the cool ground beneath the spreading tree. She gathered up her chamboko, snapped it in the air to waken the lazy cattle and headed home. Sandy made the same journey home every day, but today the sweet scent of the savanna made her dawdle along the way. She spotted a herd of striped zebra grazing peacefully with their companions, the mighty wildebeest. Zandi watched as they mingled together and noticed how they protected each other from the ferocious animals of the savanna. Without each other, the zebra and wildebeest would be prey to lions, leopards, and cheetahs. The friendship they shared reminded Zandi of her own village and the need to hurry home. Zandi walked through the acacia woodlands along the bank of the Kanyati River. Suddenly, she was face to face with four pairs of eyes looking at her from one of the big branches of the Mukute tree. The eyes belonged to four monkeys who had darted away, making a kek 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 sound. Startled, Zandi turned and saw a big monkey licking clean a newly born Moana. Tiptoeing past the mother, Zandi noticed another family of monkeys gathering behind a giant anthill. The new mother joined the loving family who began to quibble over whose turn it was to cuddle the newborn. Kek, 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 Zandi said as she spread her arms, sending a big hug to the monkeys. Zandi continued and came across a long trail of big red ants moving a gigantic object across the grassland. Carefully, Zandi knelt down and peered closely at the procession. The gigantic object was a dead grasshopper. Wow, exclaimed Zandi. Each ant used its tiny jaws to help carry the grasshopper to their colony. Hard working, Soldier ants surrounded the precious meal while others cleared the path. Through teamwork, these ants carried their heavy load efficiently and successfully. Zandi gently patted the ground and whispered, Goodbye, little ants. Safe travels. Zandi realized she was late bringing the cattle home. Soon, Grandma Gogo would be calling her. She gazed into the colorful sky and saw an African fish eagle flying overhead, holding a snake in its talons. Zandi wondered if the eagle was bringing food to its mate guarding the big nest on a cliff above the river. Before she could see the female eagle opening her mouth to receive the delicious dinner, She heard her dog, Tiger, barking. Woof! Woof! barked Tiger. Where have you been? I missed you, Zandi smiled. Realizing that just like the eagle, Tiger was loyal and trustworthy as a companion. Sending a big kiss to the eagles, Zandi and Tiger ran on. 
Soon Zandi and Tiger came upon a moving rock. Looking closer, Zandi saw that the mysterious rock had legs and was dark and shiny. A determined little bug was gallantly pushing the pile of poop. What a yummy feast for the hard-working dung beetle, cried Zandi. In awe, she watched as the little beetle swiftly rolled a gigantic ball. Zandi winked at the dung beetle and hurried off toward her village. Zandi wasn't far from the village when she heard her Grandma Gogo's high-pitched call. She was late, and the cattle needed to be in the crawl. After safely securing the cattle, Zandi skipped to her Grandma Gogo's hut for a steaming dish of okra and sadza. Mmm. Under a bright moon, the whole family sat around an open fire and listened with amazement as Zandi shared her exciting day on the savanna. When Zandi finished describing her day, Grandma Gogo sighed, <sighs> lifted up her old bones, and leaned on her tsvimbo. She looked at Zandi and in her creaky, whispery voice said, you have discovered the true meaning of Ubuntu. To achieve Ubuntu, you must be a friend to all. Protect one another, care for all creatures, work together, contribute to your community, and be willing to try and never give up. Only then can you achieve true happiness in life. Grandma Gogo blew Zandi a kiss, smiled, gathered her sleeping mat, and sauntered contently to her sleeping hut. The End What a lovely story. So today, Zandi learned that Ubuntu is a deep connection we have with all of creation and to each other. In Lakota, we have a similar concept when we say mitakuye oyasi, or we are all related. What are some ways that we're connected? Well, we all need love, right? We all need each other. The plants need us to breathe, and we need the plants to breathe. Can you think of other ways that we are connected? Well, if we're all connected, how can we support each other? Maybe by treating the earth well, or treating each other well, that's important. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you could be here. Remember, God is always with you and God loves you always. Until next time, be a good relative and let your light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Until I see you again, I'm gonna let it shine. Until I see you again, I'm gonna let it shine. 
until I see you again. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.